President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. It was a Friday afternoon in 1963 that stopped the collective heartbeat of America. President John Fitzgerald Kennedy gunned down at 12.30 p.m. Central Time as he rode through Dealey Plaza in downtown Dallas. Within the hour, at just 46 years old, the leader of the free world was pronounced dead. His future wiped out and the future of America thrown into doubt. Lee Harvey Oswald was soon apprehended a few miles away inside the Texas theater after witnesses said they saw him shoot and kill a police officer nearby. It wasn't long before detectives connected the two shootings, but Oswald never went to trial for either of those murders. Two days after JFK's assassination while being transported, Oswald was shot on live TV by nightclub owner Jack Ruby in the basement of a Dallas police station. Oswald's death also killed the best chance America had to know that why their president was shot down in cold blood. Of course, JFK paid many visits to West Virginia, both before and after he was president. And now, 50 years later, many locals still have vivid memories of those trips. Eyewitness News reporter Katie Brown spoke with one man whose father had an opportunity to ask a question to Kennedy during JFK's 1960 campaign. She joins us now live in the studio with more tonight. Katie. Rick, for Tony Shepard, the name Kennedy brings up many memories. First, his father asking one of the most important questions during JFK's presidential campaign here in West Virginia, and then this date 50 years ago when he says D.C. stood still. Senator John F. Kennedy has said time and again that the youth of West Virginia is its greatest hope. On April 11, 1960, students and townspeople gathered at Morris Harvey College, now the University of Charleston, to hear then-Senator John F. Kennedy speak for his presidential campaign. Tony Shepard's father was there. Here is Walton Shepard, Charleston attorney. And Walton asked JFK one question. Whether a, a Roman Catholic, a Catholic could uh, uh, carry a Protestant state a conservative Protestant state like West Virginia. Knowing the attitudes of the country at the time, it was, it was very important. I had felt that there was an inhibition in my ability to fulfill my oath of office, which I've taken on the five times I've been elected to the Congress, and which I took when I entered the service, then, of course, I would not have come to West Virginia. Months later, Kennedy won over Shepard and West Virginia and was elected as president. It was three years later Kennedy would make national headlines yet again. On November 22, 1963, when he was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. At the time, Shepard was 13 and at a boarding school in Washington, D.C. We just gathered around the radio and listened, and a few minutes later, of course, they said that he you know, had died. The days following JFK, K's assassination. Shepard says D.C. was quiet and still. Students like himself were not in desk or classrooms, but lined Pennsylvania Avenue for the funeral procession, a day Shepard says he will never forget. There's still a, a fascination with, you know, with President Kennedy and, and his legacy. And, um, so, yeah, it's, it's important. It's an important part of our history, no doubt about it. And now we want to know, do you remember when President Kennedy was shot? Share your story. Just stop by our Facebook page and join in on the conversation. Reporting live in the studio, Katie Brown, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Katie. No doubt about it, President Kennedy always had a special connection to the Mountain State. West Virginia helped him secure the Democratic nomination for president in 1960. He returned to the state three years after the campaign to help West Virginia celebrate its 100th birthday. 1863 was marked by three extraordinary events, the birth of this state, the Emancipation Proclamation, and the Battle of Gettysburg. This state was born to turmoil. Former Huntington Mayor Bobby Nelson worked as a security guard during Kennedy's 1961 inauguration. He remembers Kennedy campaigning in West Virginia and said seeing the poverty in the Mountain State had a major effect on Kennedy's domestic platform. Uh, that made a real impact on, uh, on him in terms of, uh, you know, that government needs to be more responsive to the, the people. And so a lot of the things that he did in, in terms of social programs and all, uh, I think were really started by what he witnessed in West Virginia. Fascinating stuff. To see more with Nelson, go to our, our raw news section at WCHSTV.com.
It was a major piece of political history and it took place right here in the WCHS studio. In this week's Remember When piece, Eyewitness News contributor Heath Harrison takes a look back at the, many, the May 4th, 1960 primary debate between John F. Kennedy and Hubert Humphrey. The Charleston event took place six days before the West Virginia primary, which played a critical role in Kennedy winning the party's nomination for president. To view the debate and other videos from our region's past, you can visit the Remember Win section of WCHSTV.com.